I wanted to share this project that I've been working on with you guys. This is a solar powered mesh tastic node. So basically, there's an antenna, there's a solar panel that has a battery built into it, and it's all powered with a Liligo T3S3. I made this because I always wanted to have a mesh tastic node always running, and I wanted to see if it could actually work. So it's kind of an experiment I'm going to be sharing with you guys, and it does work, spoilers. So here's all the stuff that I bought. I'm going to break it down. So here's the T3S3. I can get it for about $31 or $32. The antenna costed $33. Um, the little box that I have everything housed in costed about $14. And the battery slash solar panel combo costed about $50. Bucks. So all in all, a little over $100 to make this project. Uh, and I had this wood laying around, so I just screwed it all to this little stick here. And uh, the way I did this project is that I have a lot of cable. You can see here is all bunched up. But the idea is that I can actually take the antenna and go at a higher elevation with it if I wanted to. I know it doesn't have to be fixed to this pole here. But for this demonstration purpose, that's why I have it set up that way. So you see right there, um, I have everything connected. So I'm going to be connecting it to my phone to see if everything works. The, I had this solar panel charging for about a day outside. And the, the screen's flickering. It's because the camera can't really pick it up. I promise you the screen is idle. It's not flashing like that. Um, just the way it picks it up. So right now I'm pairing the device. So it's brand new because I just flashed the most recent mesh tastic firmware on this guy. So it's like you got to go through the setup process. Um, I believe um, I have to set the region like you usually do with these new devices and then I just go ahead and click the United States because that's where I'm at it will reboot once I save it all right so it's done rebooting so I'll go ahead and back to my phone and make sure I'm connected to it all right as you see here it is connected and uh, I'm ready to go ahead and test it so to the right I have my wife's phone connected to the T-beam and I'm going to be using the phone you just saw a second ago that's connected to the solar mesh tastic node um and uh, you see here it's getting it's receiving messages so i'm gonna go ahead and test the message and it has been sent so this is actually working and this is completely powered and being operated outside and with with solar power so solar and battery power so it's pretty cool so it's working right now. I'm going to do a couple more tests. You can see that the communication between these two devices, complete off-grid communications, and it went through. So pretty cool. So we successfully tested it. So let's go back outside. Um, so the one thing I need to do is to weatherproof this a little bit more. So I recommend uh, from experience, I use some special like uh, adhesive. I would rather have used silicone or there's some kind of like special foam stuff you can buy. Um, it, like it almost is like uh, insulation, but you see here, I'm going to show you, you're going to see a hole where the device is, where I had to cut through the, to get the wires through. And, uh, I recommend they actually sell these things with holes already pre-drilled in them. I recommend you guys getting that. Uh, don't recommend doing this with this adhesive that I had. That's all I had at the time. I wish I had silicone. I didn't have anything on me. So I just want to make sure I can weatherproof it. Um, and here's it at night. Everything's working still operational even with the sun down It's still connected and it's receiving it sending messages. So really excited that this project worked I highly recommend doing it because it was a lot of fun. It was a great learning experience as well I would have uh, maybe gotten some shorter cables, but I had I a couple design ideas and just I ended up settling with this um, but at least I know where all the slack and the uh, cable here I can really put this antenna up high so um, it does still work. So that still has functionality the way I built it. So, and uh, this was just a fun project to do. So let me know what you think in the comments section here. I'm just glad I made this project. Uh, it's nice to know if the power's out. Um, this thing's already up and running. I don't have to worry about anything. It's going to constantly be running. So we'll see how it handles over time. So thank you guys for watching. Remember, safety is an illusion.